Hello and welcome to my channel, Yoga with Vicky Marie. I'm Vicky Marie and I'm going to be taking you through a 10 minute dancing warrior flow. So when you're ready, come into an easy seated position and we'll start our practice. Starting in our easy seated position, maybe softening the eyes, closing them all together if you feel safe and comfortable to do so. We're just going to begin to connect with our breath. If you feel like you need a bit of grounding for this flow, taking the palms down, or you might begin to take the palms facing the sky. When we're ready, we're going to begin to add some movement to our body, inhaling the arms up overhead, palms may touch, and then coming down into the heart space. Two more times at your own breath, own pace, inhaling up, exhaling down. Last time. As you bring the prayer into the heart space, pressing the finger pads into each other, we're going to begin to send our prayer up towards the ceiling. We're taking a gentle twist as I'm mirroring you. Your left hand's coming to your right knee, right hand behind. Might be near the hip tailbone or you might take a bind if that's in your practice. Now as you begin to release the twist, that right hand's going up towards the sky. You can stay here. We're beginning to slide that left hand down. And can stay in touch with the knee of the thigh. You might take it to that space between the ribs and the hip. Feeling the breath. And exhaling, releasing that right hand down towards the earth. Left arm coming up and then side stretch. Inhaling, taking the arms up overhead. We're gonna do that on the other side. Taking your twist, right hand to that left knee, left hand behind. Waiting to release the twist. Left arm going up, right hand coming to your spot. Again, it might be thigh, you might want to take it just below the ribs. Releasing that left hand down, right arm coming up and over. And releasing the hands. We're going to come into a tabletop position of all fours. So in your own time, coming into your tabletop, hips over the knees, your choice of tops of the feet or toes tucked. We're going to take three rounds of cat-cow. If we're using our breath on our exhale, we're tucking in the chest. Inhaling, lifting the gaze and the tailbone. I'm going to do that two more times. Exhaling, cat. Inhaling, cow. You might even close the eyes, making it a moving meditation. Exhaling, cat. And cow. When you're ready, tucking the toes, lifting the knees, sending the sit bones up towards the ceiling, downward dog. If it's your first downward dog of the day, you might pedal it out. We're going to begin to take our gaze forward, walking, hopping, or stepping the feet to the hands, forward fold. Inhaling your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhaling your halfway lift. Palms to thighs, shins, or peace fingers to the earth. Exhaling, fold. Softening the knees, planting the hands. We're going to step back with our right foot, runner's lunge. 
releasing that right knee. We're taking a twist, planting that right hand, left hand to the thigh or up towards the sky. Exhaling, releasing that left hand down, sucking the back toe, lifting the right knee, coming back to standing at the top of your mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. And folding down. We're going to do that on the other side, bending the knees, planting my hands, stepping back, runner's lunge, dropping the left knee, planting that left hand down, right hand to the thigh, opening up the chest, and then taking that hand up towards the sky. And gaze can follow. Exhaling, releasing down. Tucking the back toe, lifting the knee. We're coming back to a forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, softening the knees, planting the hands, stepping back with that right foot. We're going to be coming into a warrior two. So you're going to pivot that right foot, finding your foundation. Cartwheeling the arms open, shoulders over the hips. Gazing to the right or over that left hand. Being pulled forward, flipping that left palm, exhaling, swiping it up towards the sky or the back of your space. As we exhale, coming back into your warrior two. We're gonna come into your side angle. So elbow or forearm to that left thigh, right hand to the hip, palm opening to the sky. You can stay here or if it's in your practice, letting that left hand travel down. If you've got a block, this would be a good place for it. Choice with that right hand, keeping on the hip or maybe bringing it towards the front. Excellent, if you've got a bit of small space, you can use the wall for support. Releasing, we're coming back into that runner's lunge, so framing that left foot. We're coming into a flow, stepping back to our plank. Knees, chest, chin, releasing the front of the body down. Untucking the toes in your own time, coming into your cobra. Being mindful of the lower back. Exhaling, releasing down, coming up onto the knees or plank. Downward dog. Looking to the top of the mat, walking, standing or hopping, feet to the hands, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften these, planting the hands, stepping back with that left foot. We're going to do that dancing warrior on the other side. Planting that left foot, warrior two legs, cartwheeling the arms open. Choosing your gaze. Being pulled forward, flipping that right palm, exhaling, maybe taking a bind. Exhaling back to your warrior two. Right forearm or elbow coming onto the thigh, hand to the hip. Staying here with that right hand or traveling down. Again, your choice with that left hand, maybe bringing it forward. We're going to begin to release, coming to frame that right foot runner's lunge. Stepping back to our plank. Knees, chest, chin, and cobra if you like. We're coming into fore limb. Pressing forward to upper dog. Rolling over the feet, we'll come into our downward dog. Slowly releasing the knees down to the earth. Coming into your kneeling position or an easy seat if that's more comfortable. Taking a hand to the heart and a hand to the belly. And just feeling the breath. So we bring the hands together in prayer. Bow the head to hands in gratitude for investing in your well-being and your practice. Thank you for sharing this 10-minute dancing warrior flow. If you'd like to practice again, check out my other videos. Hit like, 
hit subscribe and I'll see you again soon.